aloha and welcome back everybody welcome back to that one show hey we have a beautiful morning out here on the big island it is a monday morning about nine o'clock in the freaking morning already you know what i'm saying it's a late start day today i actually am on my way to go pour the the stem walls and some footings out in the waikaloa area and the queen's market where i uh, on my last video i poured the the elevator core and today i'm going to be pouring the walls and stuff like that but uh, we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but unfortunately we don't have concrete until like 1.30 in the freaking afternoon. So, like I said, kind of a late pour, but I mean it is what it is sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's what I got going on for today. So once again, come along with me on some more concrete adventures. Alright, so we're back at them out here in Waikoloa. Here's the footings we got. Two foot wide footings. Three bars not too bad, it's only 16 ounces in the center. And one foot train tracks and stuff like that easy peasy stuff it's all for uh, block layout I guess there's gonna be block wall along this whole area for the ABC store and of course we built the elevator we built this all last week every bit of this only like four days to do to everything footings and walls <laughs> Check them out. Cut all the rebar, built all those forms in like a day and a half. Easy. But we're gonna pour everything today, hopefully. We got TJ in there operating the pump today. All right. All right, west of Y Concrete. down all right hand me that in Hook. all right and these fucking rebar caps are annoying today yeah go ahead Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Watch your eyes, Mike. Coming on down to enjoy the misery. Oh, it's tight down here, yo. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm comfortable. Frick yeah, dude. We're doing this. high up right here huh dude this fucking string lines <clears throat> she gone oh we got one truck down so lifting our step down got them all buttoned up so lifting our wall now we're getting ready to go seal everything up cruising cruising Are right, you going to the inside again with it? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm going for it. Which way are you going to go, Dave? Okay. Same. Right, let me step over there, Malaka, if I can. You turn it on? this piece off. Keep it on, John. Yeah. Keep it on.
Yeah, that's it, huh? That's how you pour concrete, everybody. Elevator core, footings. Like I said, we, we've done all this work with just in a matter of a week and a half or so. It's out here bossing them. Keyway in, but we're gonna do it like a just a two by four. Just gonna stamp it on in, just like that. Just, just needs an impression. I'm pretty good at leaving a, an impression. See, look at that. Look at that. You just drag it across there, you know. Just give it the old drag. You know, you, you learned this after a while. This dragging technique. You come back when it gets a little harder, and you go a little deeper. <laughs> you know what I mean? When it's soft like that, you can't make the full penetration. It's got to be, it's got to be hard. All right, everybody, that wasn't too bad of a day. It wasn't for a Monday. You know what I mean? The only thing kind of sucked was it was a late start, but you know, other than that, it really wasn't that bad. A little bit of walls, a little bit of footings. Uh, you know, some vibrating, some magging off, and really that's about it, you know? But anyways, that's what we had going on. Uh, it took us probably about, I think it was like five days pretty much to build all that stuff that we had set up, you know, bend all the rebar, tie it all, set all the forms and whatnot and everything like that. Got her poured today and we're gonna be stripping tomorrow. So anyways, that is what's up. So anyways, once again, I really hope you guys like my concrete videos. And if you do, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.